Dominic Scott, the vertical online. Night vision goggles have been used in the U.S. military since Vietnam and now more than ever they're being used by EMS, police and fire departments to make nighttime flying safer and easier. Welcome to Vertical Magazine Online. I'm Brent Bergen to bring you the feature articles live. Behind me is Adam Aldis, President and CEO of Night Flight Concepts. With his night vision converted Robinson R-44 helicopter, the only one of its kind. He's been instructing students and pilots how to fly the Robinson 44 and night vision goggles for the past year. So Adam, uh, tell me about Night Flight Concepts. Well, uh, Brent, Night Flight Concepts is a total solutions provider of NVG compatible cockpit lighting configurations uh, we all, with night RV technologies. We provide night vision goggle initial recurrent training, uh, not only for professional pilots, what we do here at Palm Beach Helicopters, but also for the law enforcement and EMS community. So all in all, we're a comprehensive night vision technology solution for organizations and NVG operations. Night Readiness, who runs or invented the virtual training board, has really played a big part in your grad school. How, how does that help develop your students using the VTB? The VTB is a great uh, uh, virtual train board simulation of the night environment. Uh, the advantages of the virtual train board system versus the traditional physical train board system is the high fidelity and the different scenes that we can produce in a real time uh, environment where you actually sit into a classroom and simulate what you're seeing night unaided and then you put the goggles on and you see what you're seeing under NVGs. The advantages of that system is we can, uh, by the push of a button, we can change the illumination levels, we can change our altitude levels, we can change our headings, we can change the environment. So you can go from a low contrast environment to a high contrast environment, to a snow environment, to a rainy environment, to a cloudy environment, etc., etc. The list goes on and on. Of natural light available. After sitting through night flight concepts, ground training, and learning the ins and outs of night vision goggles, it was time to take to the air. I'm all the you know students uh, when they first start NVGs is determining what their closure rate is. They tend to want to come in too fast. What about when uh, the students are doing the hot rotation that sort of thing? Is that a pretty hard time on that vision goggle for that? Uh, well, we don't introduce NVGs until normally flight period three or flight period four. At which point they normally have about four hours underneath the goggles and. Um, we do them to put power recovery and unless they put the aircraft in the safe landing configuration, then we'll go ahead and take it down to the ground. Okay, and we'll just take the taxi lines here, Brent. Uh, this is a good altitude, three to five feet. Back okay. to parking. Okay, Roger. Where is parking over to the left, right? Yep, left front. Flying with Adam Aldis in his NVG converted R44, it was apparent that night vision goggles make flying at night safer and easier. With just a flip of the goggles, you're able to go from this to this. ASU, or Aviation Specialties Unlimited, has trained over 200 helicopter bases and 800 pilots to fly on night vision goggles and has become one of the established leaders in NVG training with Miami-Dade Fire Department as one of their many success stories. Now it's time to check out how night vision goggles are used in the field. Right now I'm standing in front of Miami-Dade Fire Department's Bell 412 where they've been using night vision goggles for the past two years. Uh, now with the NVGs, we can see where we're going. 
I mean, you can have all the instruments in the world in an aircraft, but if, if you can't see anything outside, you're somewhat limited. So I'd rather take a VFR machine and have goggles than a full IFR machine and be totally in the dark. After we started the goggles and, and put them into use, uh, we had a, um, a girl that was uh, lost off a, a, a PWC, a, you know, jet ski, and uh, down in the Keys. And they called us down there, and, uh, and we searched and, and found her in pretty short order. And without the goggles, I, I don't think that would have happened. Mike Bell, I'm one of the uh, flight medics that fly on the air rescue unit here. Come in real handy for two things, searching and searching. The Everglades is a black hole at night, and we've already had a couple uh, good uh, recoveries because of the NVGs, just like in the bay and over there because of the capabilities it has. Great piece of equipment. On your normal operations, even if you go to the same place, you'll see things you never saw before at night. Even in the urban environment, night vision goggles enhance your mission effectiveness. They allow you to see things you wouldn't normally see in the shadows of landing zones or darkened cables on your flyout. NVGs remove the hesitation of flying at night. Whether you're flying in the bright city lights or the black hole of the Everglades, night vision goggles had a layer of safety unmatched by any other technology. Only you can decide if night vision goggles are right for your operations. They provide a huge safety factor for nighttime operations, but they do have limitations and a sizable training and financial requirement. I'm Brent Bergen, bringing you the Feature Articles Live. Until next time, fly safe.